Hey, my name is Gamit. In this video, we're gonna go over some simple and easy techniques that sound advanced when played right, but are actually very simple to perform. Let's get into it. Okay, so what's the catch behind this technique? Well, we're actually using both alternate picking and legato here. The nice thing about this technique is that when we use it, it still has this shreddy and picky sound when we're playing. So you kind of get the best of both worlds when using it. Both the shreddy sound of the alternate picking and the smooth sound of the legato. It's easier for me to start with an up pick when playing this. You can start with a down pick, whatever is more comfortable to you. We're going to pick the first three notes. And then the next note, when we're going over to the next string, we're gonna pick the first one and hammer the next two. So together, it sounds like this. Take this technique and play around with it a bit, and you'll be able to see that just with a bit of practice, you can actually run across the board. You can run on only two strings if you like, so let's take the two high strings. So... This technique is pretty straightforward, but when used, you can build insane speeds with it. Looks a bit messy, right? Well, it's actually quite simple. We take a group of four notes, so let's take five and seven on both the A and the D strings and use the following pattern. So we pick and then hammer, switch strings, pick, hammer, and then pull off. Then go back to the first string, pick, pick, and hammer. So this is the way I pick here. I start with a downstroke. And then, when I move on to the next string, I downstroke as well. Then, when we go back, I up pick and then down pick. So, down, down, up, and down. And that's it. Now, when I got to the high strings, all I did was add another. So, I played this. And you can mix this up to your liking as well. You can take the pattern and split it to two. So if we split it, the first half is going to be... And the next half, we're going to switch positions. So it's going to be... So instead of being... It's now... And just continue throughout the neck. And you can go down the neck as well. You don't have to go up. Can reach the lower strings as well so if we play something like this get and this technique too with just a bit of practice you can create insane sounds This one you can take to so many different levels and make it sound insane. Let's break down what we're doing here. This is actually extremely simple. We pick, hammer, and then pick a note on the string above. So what do I mean by this? This lick started with hammer from 10 to 14 on the A string, and then we play 12 on the E string. And that is it basically. This is actually an E minor arpeggio. Let me know if you'd like a lesson on simple arpeggios as well. But if we take this simple arpeggio and play it on three different octaves, let's see what we get. Now increase the speed a bit. And this is just one simple technique. You don't even need to know these simple arpeggios in order to do this. For example, let's take the E minor pentatonic. 
and apply it here as well. So you're gonna pick 12 and hammer 14 on the A string and then pick 14 on the E string. It's not in the pentatonic, but it is in the E minor scale and it's good enough. So we have this. Now continue on the scale. These are just the notes of the scale with the applied technique. And here too, get used to the technique a bit and increase the speed. And this technique is actually very good for short bursts of speed. So it can be applied very easily for a nice and fast transition. For example. And this technique too, I use all the time. So this is probably my favorite one and the one I use the most out of these. Let's break it down because this two is actually pretty straightforward. So again we have a group of four notes so let's take 13 and 12 on both the E and the B string. And the way we play it is we pick 13 on the E string and pull off the 12. Then we pick both 13 and 12 on the B string. So together it sounds like this. I like to start this with a downstroke and then when going to the next string I start with a downstroke as well. And once you know and master this simple maneuver, you can change your shapes and your fingerings to create insane stuff. So for example we can travel around two strings, right? We can either go back or we can go forward. go up, down, whatever sounds right. This is probably just a bit harder than the other techniques. But again, once you master this one picking pattern, you'll easily be able to change the shape up and combine different notes. So yeah, these were four easy shred techniques that sound hard, but are actually pretty simple. And I personally use them all the time. Seriously, check any one of my licks, you'll probably find at least one technique I use there. As always, in-depth tab and exercises for each one of these techniques can be found in my Patreon down below. Thanks for watching, I'm Kamit.